Tonight, Macon's NAACP chapter says they're on the side of tenants at the Hidden Lakes apartment. Last week, 20 to 40 folks had eviction notices posted to their doors. Bibbs Magistrate Court says they've dismissed most of those evictions, but the NAACP says they want to get to the bottom of fees that are apparently causing these evictions. Jessica Cha is live at the apartment complex to tell us more. That's right, Frank and Lori Macon and double ACP president Gwen Westbrook says that she had reached out to the Hidden Lakes property manager who told her that the eviction notices were posted not because of missing rent, but because of unpaid water bills. And like you said, she wants to get down to the bottom of it so that no one else gets evicted. However, one family did reach out to me saying that they got an eviction notice posted to their door back in March and they had been kicked out weeks before anybody else was. Entering a lease for an apartment is like a promise. Everything was pretty much understood when I first moved in about um, the lease and how much we will pay. Shanika Smith says she agreed to pay $780 a month for her partner and five kids to live at the Hidden Lakes Apartments in Macon when they moved in November. Up until when I started checking the portal and I started seeing extra fees. In January, $100 late penalty fees, water, pest control, trash fees appeared on the bill. She asked the property manager what was happening. And she told me not to worry about it, that she would remove it. Believing the manager, Smith continued paying rent. Then in March, an eviction notice appeared on their door. And I showed it to her and she said, well, there's no need to go to court. Don't worry about it. I just take care of it. You don't And Smith to... said again, she believed the manager. Then in July, two weeks ago. And around 10 o'clock that morning, she called me because she said the sheriff was at my house throwing my things out. Smith rushed from work to see her partner, kids and belongings thrown out. It was very embarrassing, probably thinking that we were getting thrown out because we weren't paying our rent. But then very shortly, they understood because they got the same letters that we got. Last week, between 20 to 40 people got the same eviction notice, saying due to missing rent, they'd be evicted if they didn't respond in court. This is why we're here today. NAACP President Gwen Westbrooks says folks from the apartment reached out to the Macon NAACP about the evictions. <laughs> Westbrook reached out to the property manager. She just basically told me it was not uh, related to rent, it was related to the water. So Westbrook says tenants have been getting high water bills, but the apartments have no meters to measure water use. So we just want to bring awareness to the community, let them know that we're here. But Smith uh, says she wishes someone was there for them before they were kicked out. And I shouldn't went through any of it from the start. Westbrook says that she'll be reaching out to the Macon Water Authority to see if there are any water issues at this complex. She says she's also reaching out to the Bibb Magistrate Court judge to extend any existing court cases to find out where these fees are coming from. Live in Macon, Jessica Cha, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Jessica. We've reached out to Hidden Lakes Management. They've not responded. Now, we get a lot of calls and messages from folks across central Georgia needing housing help. That's why our digital team put together a comprehensive guide to help you. It covers what you need to know about rental agreements. It walks you through your rights as a tenant and what to do if you face eviction, along with other topics. You can find that housing guide right now on 13WMAZ.com. You can also text the word housing to 478-752-1309, and we can send a link to that guide right to your phone.